In today's video, I am going to survive 100 days in better Minecraft. Let's go. And immediately there is just... What? What is this? It's a duck. It's a duck that I can't access. We'll be back because we also have a village. What? What is it? What? Yep, so this is the better Minecraft 1.19.2 version and with this we have basically all the 1.19 features that you would want you know the frogs all that well also getting all these cool mods like we have this redstone villager that is cool that is cool but do you guys have any loot and oh, any loot at all man you guys are poor come on Work with me here. I, I need I need some items. Some early game items. You guys are so poor. Okay, we can get some food here. With some wheat. I also see some stuff right next to us. That's gonna be really interesting. And there is stuff everywhere, because there's also that. What? Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to start this series. You guys know. I love my mods. I am I've been trying to incorporate them here on the channel for a while and I'm really happy that we can start on something new with a mod and we have a waystone. That that's that's wonderful. Anything else from you Le Village? Ooh. Tomato seeds. Um I will come back for those maybe. Probably not. There's really not much in these and yeah, this is based off the acacia biome, but there's not really much of anything in these, so I'm just gonna go punch a tree. Okay, now that we have our wood, it's time to turn it into oak. And then a crafting table, place that down like so. Make some sticky sticks, because we're gonna temporarily make ourselves a wooden pick. Like so, and then get enough for a stone pickaxe. I'm also going to get enough for a sword and an axe. Now we can easily make ourselves our replacements, so bam, an axe. Now we have the necessary starter tools to get the job done. Now I would like to show you guys a little bit of what's in this pack exactly with some of these books we were given when starting up. So we have our welcome book. Hi, welcome to Better MC Fabric Edition. Quests will be available when the FTB quest mod updates to version 1.18.2. Uh, so we don't have that yet. And uh, the mod pack will be updated constantly. So we will get constant features as this series continues. So that's cool. Then when we open this up, this is the Biomes You'll Go book. And what biomes do we have? So the Autumn Fields, Amaranth Fields, this is basically what we're in right now. Some of these, like, look at the autumn, uh, I think it's autumnal taiga. That looks like a place to live. I love the look of that. Some of these, like, oh, yeah, the, these kind of, like, mushroom end biomes are just so cool. You guys can find this when you open up the pack. It will immediately spawn with these two in your hand. I would go and recommend not losing them. Because I don't know if they're craftable or not. They might be. Can I ask you a favor? Could you consider subscribing? It would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below. And consider liking the video because liking always helps. I have some business with this ducky over here. What is in you? Obviously somebody's worshipping you. That is a diamond. Yeah, we're not mining that way. I have diamonds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, pop, pop. And we're gonna pop. Because we need to get a thumbnail. Um, I need to go get some iron really quick. So we'll come back to you. We're gonna go check out these over here to see if they have any starter iron. Extremely. Oh my. There's just so much. What is you? Master Sun's 
Oh, this is... They seriously add the art of war. Oh my. Okay, this is a cool build. Really cool. It's a very Japanese, Chinese-inspired building. And I just love that the art of war, even in its, ja uh, in its native language. I think this is Chinese. It doesn't look like Japanese to me. I've... I've learned a little bit of Japanese in my life, and I don't think that's what that is. Let's go check out this over here, and... How many structures are in this spawn? Okay, what do we have in you? My experience with modded, modded, uh, shipwrecks is that they have pretty decent loot, so... Ooh, come on. Oh, and we got ourselves trapped. Let me just break you. Okay, we have a buried treasure map. I'm not really going to take anything else. That It doesn't seem worth it. Uh, over here, I'll... Mm, not anything I actually want. Okay, um... That, I think, is the only two. So we're going to have to go... Ooh, there we go. We're going to have to go and look for this buried treasure. Because I want those diamonds. I, I want those diamonds really bad. Where are we at in terms of this? Okay. Let me just grab a screenshot so we know where to come back. And we're going to search. Let's see. How far are we? I, I think we're close. Maybe over here. Does he... Does it move when we move? Okay, it'll take me a second. I'll be back once I figure out where this is it. Where this is at. Aha! Uh -huh. I have found it. I'm gonna have to mine you up really quick. It won't take long. There we go. Oh, we have diamonds. We have iron. That's what we wanted. We even have TNT. Ooh. Encyclopedia of Eden. Oh, that's in here. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the uh, the Eden mod is. Uh, the Eden Ring. Eden Ring, if you know the developers of the Better End, Better Nether, Better Mine Shafts, Better Strongholds mod pack. Let me just throw these. Yeah, there. We don't need any more. But if you know those developers, uh, the young developers, they created their own original dimension mod called Eden Ring. And what Eden Ring does specifically is that when you uh, explore the world, there's some certain stuff you can do. Like you can get this, which is a gravity based crystal. But the biomes are crazy. Like this is basically metal trees, but they're, they shoot lasers at you. There is, and also uh, the more like lower you go, the more gravity is different. It's such a unique mod. I really want to go here sometime here in the future, but we have enough iron on us, so we need to go find that duck, because he has something I want. Okay, now that we're here, we can go and craft ourselves an iron pick, which I don't know if we're going to need to keep the iron pick. I, I don't know if we should do armor, if we should do diamonds. Oh, there is four what? This duck! What? You do realize, sir, that that is terrible for... For your health. The amount of constipation you had there, sir. Unbelievable. But with that, we go and have 37 diamonds on episode one. Oh boy, um... I think we should do armor? I I think? I think we do armor, yes. This is the most cursed thing. I usually... At least the last couple of series, I think more uh, the last series I did, the hardcore. We had, iron, uh, we had diamonds on episode one, but it wasn't this fast. It took me hours to get to this point. Because I had to go and mine for everything. But we're already... We're already diamond up on episode one, and look at that little gleamer it's giving. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So let's get our diamonds and our pickaxe back. 
We still have 13, so technically we can do weapons and all that, but I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. Instead, I don't know why I got rid of that. I think I still have some iron. Yep, I have enough for a sword, so we'll replace the stone sword. Sorry, sir. And sorry, stone pickaxe, but nobody loves you. Um, not even your own mother. Okay, that was mean. Just kidding. Still, nobody loves you. I want these so much. Give me. Oh my. Oh, we're taking the little, the little chicklings. The little chicklings. I love it. I love it. This, this is wonderful. Uh, I think that's the wool. Oops. There we go. Pop, pop. And then let's pick up the ducklings. <laughs> hey guys. Total dude bro here, and I'm gonna show you how to pick up chicks. Get it? Okay, folks, so what do we have here? Okay, so there's some ore on the ground. That's kind of cool. I think this is supposed to be coal? Yes, so it's an alternative texture to coal, which it also looks like, if I'm correct, 1.19 changed the uh, the texture. So this adds more, including the original textures, which is cool. And ooh, using looms. For empty bookshelves, that is smart. Nothing in those. Uh, it looks like we there's a smoker here. That's cool. Anything? Nope. I'm gonna assume there's none in the rest. Look at how nice and. Excuse me. So you're telling me if I would have just walked a little bit more this way, we could have had a, a diamond helmet. Hamid Jesus, the fisherman. Sir? Oh, and we even get a bow with arrows. Yeah, it's only nine, but that's not bad. I'm considering stealing your house for a little bit, bud. Are you are you fine with me staying on the bottom floor? Oh my. Um. Uh, let g give me. I want me wanty. Uh, you can keep the chainmail. Um. Temporarily, sir, I'm just gonna rent out the bottom floor if you uh, if you don't mind. Uh, I was looking for an apartment anyway, so I'll, I'll take the bottom floor. Yeah, this will be this will be my home. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> it's great that we have a home on episode one, guys. So we're gonna need to do that so we can make ourselves some chests. Which I love the textures in this mod pack, by the way. It is just so great. So we're just going to get rid of anything that we don't need. Now that we have settled into our temporary apartment, let's go and explore this area really quick. This kind of looks like a walking garden. Is it? What are... Is that emerald? That cannot be diamond up here. Are you joking? You're joking. You can't be serious, my <laughs> Better Minecraft team. Come on. Oh my god. Is this... Is this what I think? It's diamond. Oh my god, it's diamond. Oh my... Oh my god, it's a lot of diamond. In here, is it just... Hoax, we are rich. Oh my... Okay, we should have crafted a shovel. I wasn't expecting there to be a tree with this much minerals in it. Oh my lordy lord. We are rich. This... This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We have so many diamonds and emeralds on episode one. It is not even funny. Okay, let's get out of here. We don't need to be in here anymore. But... Oh my, um, I totally didn't steal your guys' stuff. <laughs> oh my, this, this is wonderful. This is a wonderful pack, guys. I'm already having so much fun, and I've only been playing for about 40 minutes. And let's head down here. Oh, you guys know me. I'm a builder. I am a builder. I, I love this. This is, this is awesome. And look at the sea pickles, the mini... The mini lily pads. Oh, it's beautiful. 
this this is a beautiful like this is a generated structure this is not made by anybody well i guess you could say it was made by the developers but still in terms of having a player build this this is not player built and it looks like it is it is beautiful and you have these random just little spots with oh my god they're signs Okay, we have something over there as well. Let's go check it out. Okay, folks. We've made it over to whatever this is, which there's so much that we can just take. I mean, borrow. What is in here? Is it just for show and tell? Or show and not tell? There's nothing in there. Okay, this just seems like a, a temporary base for somebody. There's nothing here. Mainly for looks. I'll take the stone cutter. And might as well take the anvil. Yeah, it's broken and damaged, but it's still usable. And then there's just so much. There's just so freaking much. Okay, is there a crafting table? Because if there is, we're going to that boat with our own boat. I'm pretty sure there's a crafting table, right? Right? Ah, fine. I'll have to damage your... Okay, so this was done over the water. Good to hear. I am looking for some wood. Is there any wood nearby? Um, is that a slab? That is a slab, unfortunately. Oh, uh, we have some right here. Sorry to whoever's uh, home this is that I just stole from. Um, I am not sorry, actually. No, you deserve it. It's what you get for being poor. <laughs> Bam, we have ourselves a boat, and it's time to boat over with our diamonds in hand. To the boat. So, there's a bunch of villagers over here. Um, you guys know it's pretty difficult to get in here without hurting your head, right? The fisherman. I do not have what you need. What about you? Huh? Still don't have what you... Well, technically I have what you need, but you're not getting it. I'm taking the raw cod. I think it's cooked. No, that's not cooked. But still, it's still decent. I'll take it. We can cook it. We'll walk at the... Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. We're... We're... Basically ro robbing them blind. Okay. Uh, what about in here? I'll once again take this, but oh my <laughs> lord. We have so much on us, and I'm not even done exploring yet. If I'm correct, over here is that, like, oil station in the middle of the ocean kind of thing. I think it's right there. I'm going to go travel over there, and we're going to see what's in there. Nope, it's right there. Wait, what's over there? Okay, now I'm interested to not leave camera. What is this? What? Is it just random block generation? What is this? Is it just driftwood? Is there a boat nearby? I'm not seeing one. So it just must be like maybe random driftwood that is floated around. Um... That that's gonna be my cannon. <laughs> but let's see what we have here. Even more. Okay, so is there anything like trapped in this? Is that a thing? Okay, no. Now, sir, how do you get up here? Sir. How are you supposed to do your job? You You can't even get upstairs, sir. Fine, I'll save you. Bam. Saved. You know you could have done this all on your own, sir. Uh, is there something? No, nothing in there. This top level's nothing. Come on. Up. Oh. Okay, so it's kind of like... Just a, just a cool-looking structure. And it is cool-looking. But it's pointless. You're all poor. 
Now that it's morning, let's check what we have on our mini map here. And there is some really cool generation around. So there is another village up here. Over here, it looks like we have a cherry blossom biome. Oh, we have the colored sand over here. Oh my. Is there anything else to note of on this? I'm not seeing too much more in terms of interest right now. We have some entrances, uh, entrances into caves, but we don't have too much showing to us, but we have such a good spawn. I think we go travel over to here just to see what's here, see if we can get any more loot. And after that, I think we're gonna call it an episode. Okay, I'm at the village. I've already went through. There really wasn't anything of note. There was another waystone, so I did pick that up. Now that I'm back in the apartment, <laughs> that is a funny, funny coincidence there. But I'm gonna go and decorate this a little bit with what we have. And we have some stuff we can decorate with. So let me see what I can come up with. I've returned after doing a little bit of decorating, so outside, heading in, open the door, close the door, we have our little chicky just sitting here on our bed side table as we sit here on our lovely chair. We can sit, we can eat, we can hang out here, you know the rules. We have our waist done, so if we just want to teleport here out of nowhere, we have it right there. We have a little bit of a room, you know, put your shoes down here when you enter the back door. We have a little sitting area, kind of like of a desk, uh, kind of like a desk area with another chicky. We have our workstation area, and then we have our bed area. I was going to, because of how small this is, I thought, okay, maybe we build into the ground, and I think this works perfectly for what we need it. And... For what we have in this small area, I think I did decently furnish the area. We're gonna go on a mining adventure. Now, not just your normal mining adventure, because, well, we already have diamonds, as you can tell. But what we need to do is gain just materials in general. I wouldn't be mad getting diamonds, but we need to get materials themselves so it is cave time we're gonna go look for a cave here and get our adventure started which i don't know if i have any but we might have some coal let me go check okay now that we got some more torches made it is time to go find ourselves a cave entrance okay we have a small cave opening over here anything of note i'm always really bad about getting the good caves because I always end up getting the really crappy ones. But what this does do is give us access to coal, which is never a bad thing. We always are going to need coal in this series, unless we do like an automatic coal and smelter system. But that is well into the future of what we have planned. But I'm going to just get this really quick so you guys don't have to keep watching. But we do have this house here. So let's rush inside oh no okay within this cave i have found what looks like to be a mine shaft and i'm really liking these little beam wood beams that they've added it really helps with the effect of what it's trying to go for if you know what i mean it looks like it's more held up together than it was previously Looks like we're gonna have to go through here, and I hear a zombo. So. Ah, there's the zombo. Hi, zombo. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm talking to you. Come here. Come here. Right here. Right here. Really? Of course, he finds me. Oh, I didn't know you were chill like that. Sheesh! Hey. Hi, bud. Nope. 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 I need some more iron, so that's not good good. Why did that suck so much? Oh my. Oh my. 
Okay, we need some wood. Because I desperately need a crafting table. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh, I don't even have enough wood. Um, is this safe? No, it is not. I'll steal that one. Where? Did... There. <laughs> Let's get that there, that there. Place it down like so. We have enough, it looks like, just for a regular pick. Oh, now I have another problem. What am I going to use for sticks? Okay. <laughs> this is why I'm special, folks. There we go. We should have enough now. No, where did it go? How'd you get over here? Okay. Bam. What we can do here. Sword. And another pickaxe, because we're about to lose our pick. And we'll throw the terracotta out. There. Okay, it's time to go... Ooh. If I can pick up my item, I don't need a dispenser, to be honest. Is that it? Seriously? Okay, we have ourselves a candle in what looks like gold. I'll take the gold. Oh, it might be the uh, hidden room diamonds mod. Not diamonds, but loot, if you know what I mean. Um, I seriously need more wood. This is not going to do me any good. Um, let's just set this up here. Cause some light. Temporarily so we can grab ourselves our loot. Like we so rightfully. Oh, hey, Trader Goblin. What do you have for us today? Okay. That's what... Are you little... How dare you hurt the goblin? Oh my, especially while I'm trading, like, how rude. Where? Okay. Anything else? Do you have anything for me, sir? Oh. Oh! We need that. Um. I don't have that much stone. Oh. You're a great buddy, though. You're great. Hey, we'll take the iron now. Oh boy, folks. Oh boy. We found something. Could you get your butt out of my face? We found something quite amazing over here. We found the loot room. And then what's in the cave? Ooh, compass. I'll take the compass. Maybe even the sticks, too. We, we could use the sticks right now, so we can hit our thumbnail perfect there we go oh we have the loot room folks oh this is great okay we need the thumbnail for the thumbnail lighting okay folks now it's time to pick up our beautiful beautiful loot oh there's so much loot oh and look at the loot there oh and look at the loot there oh there's so much loot just amazing and it looks like it's mostly so. We don't have the better mine shafts uh, mod in this pack. I don't think it's available for 1.19. But what we do have is a mod that adds these like loot rooms, which if I'm, these might be the main Minecraft rooms where they were about to add dungeons, but didn't. That could be the case. But there is times where that's not actually the case. I'm also taking this moss because this has so much building potential. Once you have at least one moss and some good old bone meal, you can basically start making yourself a farm for moss. It, it, it can get OP sometimes. Now that we have at least 10 of the raw iron, we can actually double our supply. And look at that. Just doing that gave us so much experience. But it kind of feels like I just robbed the guy poor. It, it kind of does. We can also do that with our gold, so let's... Oh, there is not much more I can really do outside of that for now. But oh my, sir. Thank you for your hard work. 
We will abuse, I mean, trade with you anytime you see, see fit. Uh, oh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to do something with... Let's see here. Bam. Bam. I think what I'm going to do is finally get rid of this axe. This axe is kind of awful. So upgrading is going to be what we need to do. And while we're here, we might as well use the rest on some more of this fine torch action. Now we have what we need to continue exploring. What do we have here? Ooh, diamonds. I'll take those diamonds. Thank you very much. And I'll take the glow berries. Ooh, a golden apple. Bam. And ooh, there's some farmer's delight rope. We'll take that. And a cooking pot. Ooh. That sounds delightful. And we'll take the rest of the coal. So that was a pretty good chest right there. Anything else in said cave, uh, cave mine shaft? Anything around the corner? Oh my, sorry about the lag, folks. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this copper, mainly because copper is a really cool building block for the most part. And I never really build with it. Every series. So my previous main big let's play, which was the 25 episode Minecraft survival let's play. I was attempting some kind of big build. I didn't really get too far in the ideas. I just knew I wanted to do something. And I never did because I ended the series after episode 25. And now. Oop. Oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Where is he? So loud. Apparently, we have the higher ground. And I can. You, you like? You guys liked my Star Wars reference? Oh, ho, 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 I like that. And another golden apple. These are always welcome in my household. Um. Well, technically, I don't have a household. I have an apartment in Minecraft. <laughs> Anything else that was here? I'll take the rest of the, the rest of that rope. And outside of that, we should be good with that chest. Anything else over here of note? We've been getting a lot of resources just from exploring the mine shaft, which I'm extremely happy about. Especially coal. I have a lot more coal than I know what to do with now. Okay. I'll come back once I have a little bit of an update. Ooh, I'll take this gold off your hands there, Minecraft. I'll definitely take this gold. This will be good for a lot of golden apples when we go and try to take on the Ender Dragon. Or maybe some other mobs that might be in this pack, because I am not sure. What exactly is here? I'm going to be completely honest. Because I have a somewhat of an idea, but I have not looked too deep yet. And let me tell you, this thing is packed. Ooh, gotta love that iron. Oh, look at this just super, super exciting coal. Oh! <laughs> okay, that wasn't that funny of a joke, I'll be honest, but I wanted to do those the stupid ironic bit. I'm not funny. I'm Beard Boy. Please cut that. Ah, oh, yes! The frying pan. I know it says skillet, but it's the frickin' frying pan. You can't lie me to me, Minecraft. I know a frying pan when I see one. Is that sugar? No, that's rice. What? That's cool. We'll have to come back here and grab most of that. I'm not going down there. We'll have to come back and grab that in the future, because I really, really don't want to go and do that. I, that's it. We already have so much in the inventory that I want that that's a little too much. Um, what was over here? Did we have anything exciting? Are you seriously just a... Okay. 
I guess they could have just random mine carts, yeah. It's weird that nothing spawned there. I, I would assume that it would have something spawning at least. Ooh. Can't forget you, buddy. Come on, you fell. Okay, folks, I have exited that cave because, uh-uh, no, sir, you're not going to ruin my update. Gosh, people can be rude, but we got a lot of, a lot of materials, a lot of resources just from raw copper, a lot of raw iron. We did update and get more diamonds, silver. We have a lot of stuff like gold. Waystones and gut. What is with you people? What is with you people? No, no, no. You dropped a potato, but I can like get that another time. I don't care. Now, leave me alone. Where was I talking about? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of really cool loot. Like some piercing, too, on that. We have a waystone. We have some cooking equipment. Folks, we might be able to make better food, if you know what I'm saying. But we have so much materials that I think we can go and start other stuff up as well. Like, we have a lot of coal. We have a lot of iron. We even have silver. So we are definitely replenished. We definitely are a lot richer than before. Now it is time to make it back to the home base so we can go stock this up and see what else can be done. I don't think there's going to be much that we can do in this episode outside of that. We, I've been recording for quite a while. So, when I get back, I'm going to go see... You know what? We'll go as a bonus if you got this part into the video. Let's go see if we can find a place to make a starter base over there. We could go just move the base over here. I really like it over here. But I think what I'll do is that we'll come over here when we start doing a mega base or have its own house here. Because I love the look of this place. The wheat's every... The wheat. The wheat or the tall prairie grass. That's what it is. It looks like wheat. I love it. It makes it look like it's just a massive wheat field. Which, that's like one of the best things you can build casually in Minecraft is massive wheat fields. This is what this looks like, but I'm going to be on my way back. I'll see you guys when I get there. Folks, we have a future episode right here. I didn't even notice the pirate ship when I was coming over here, but we have a future episode now. But well, we'll be back another day, sir. We'll be back another day. Am I dumb enough to hit a rhinoceros or rhino? Of course I am. Oh, are you not going to fight back? Oh, what was you? What? Oh, my God. Dude. Like, he didn't give that much for killing him. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to kill them. But him charging like that, I wasn't expecting that. That actually scared me. Oh. Why am I this way? Oh my god! The birds! They're... They're playing in the water! Oh my god, it's so adorable! Oh my god, it's so adorable! Oh my god! Oh, I, I love modded Minecraft. Okay, folks, now that we've returned, you can now see just the outrageous amount of items we were able to get from that cave. Three golden apples, half a stack of golden ingots with some raw gold there. So much copper and iron and coal. Oh, I love it. I love it. And let's see how many diamonds we now have. Where does that get us? Okay, now up to 28. We're going to have to upgrade our armor, so... Oh, wait. What we can do is just... Wait, no. <laughs> Before we go and do that, we need to upgrade you. So which one's going to be cheaper? So that's two. Okay, that can't be done that way. But it can be done that way. So, did we give it a name? 
I think we do. I think we give it a name. What's a f mm. uh d d d d these? Yeah, sure. We're wearing these. That that's not gonna be memed on in the slightest. But we now have some decent stuff. Like we have multiple waystones now, which that is gonna come in handy, folks. That legitimately is gonna come in handy. And I just realized I have no, no, uh, no cobblestone, cobblestone furnaces. There, I don't have any furnaces. What? What? I don't have a furnace. Okay, um, we're gonna fix that really quick. Okay, now we have some of our stuff smelting. We have some raw copper and some raw gold. And, uh, I, I don't have the rent, sir. Please, no. I, I don't have the rent. I don't have the rent. Okay, thank, thank you. I, I didn't have the rent. What are you looking at? Oh, he kind of looks like an angry bird in a way. Look at that, look at that face. But, folks, that was episode two. That was a great expedition it, it took about an hour for us to find that mine shaft i told you i don't have the rent so we it took a little bit to find that cave and then took a little bit to go and explore that cave but now after the hour now that we've found everything we got some pretty good loot with some, with a cooking pot a cooking skillet Oh, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about this. That's modded, I'm not even joking. This is the first time I've ever used this in my life. And we're going to have to start some type of farm with this, so I'll get that started here soon. But where do you just place it? Oh! And what do you do with the skillet? Is it just a weapon? Is it literally just a weapon? I need to find an unlucky sap. Where's our unlucky sap? We have found our unlucky sap. <laughs> he just smacked him with a skill and he died. What if we crit? Oh my god, did you hear the sound? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That is so great. I like the ding when you hit something. We're not hitting you. That is not happening, but oh my, that 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 is wonderful. That is wonderful, folks. We have a special project today. We're going to be building ourselves our starter base. As much as I love the little apartment down here, I need my own base, let's be honest. So today, I'm going to go get the materials, and we're going to go build that said starter base. So for some of the materials that I want to use, I want to go travel over to here. Mainly, if I'm correct, this should be cherry wood. And that has this like kind of really blood red color that I love so much. So we need to get that color for this build. And then, if we head over here onto this direction... If I'm correct, this is that kind of like mushroom looking trees. I would like to get some of those as well. So we're first going to go travel to here through the power of editing. We have arrived at our destination. And I'm going to showcase something that I don't think I've show showcased yet on the series. A little mod where we can make it all just go. <laughs> that is so great. Does that work with... Okay, so it only works with single wide trees so we need to make them on ones like this oh my the you see the little lag spike that gives when you do that oh my that is so useful though because we already have 45 cherry logs that that is great i'm gonna get a couple stacks of this and i'm gonna grab some of these saplings because these saplings are gonna be great for the future oh boy that is so convenient Okay, now that we got our building materials, that being the cherry log and the pine log, and a couple of other special items, we are going to be going over here. I like the color of green that we're getting from this, and it's pretty fa uh, flat land as well, so we have a lot of potential over here. And it's not that far either, it's only just straight that way past the village, so 
it's time to get over there to start building. What are you? Um. Oh, you're hostile. Okay. <laughs> no siree, we don't need that luck. Um. Ooh. What did it give me? Orc skin. What can we do with orc skin? What can be done with this? Um. Oh, we might be able to make... Oh, a dragon saddle. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so we got the basis building... Um... Plot land there. <laughs> done. So my goal here is to have a little roof going up and down. Little, little curve. We'll also have in this area that we can just walk into. This, this hopefully will be, <laughs> be done today. So... We have a couple things a cooking, so we have our stone cooking, so we can create some stone brick, and then we have what is going to be the roof block with polished granite. So I've decided to actually cut this part out entirely and just focus on this main part because we're already going to have a lot of room, a lot of real estate over here, just like this. Now, I, I don't think I'm going to keep it like this. Maybe. We'll have to see. Um, the main wood that I want to use on the inside is going to be this pine wood over here. Because we have a lot of it. So let's grab it on. Wherever it is. There we go. Craft ourselves those beautiful. Holy lord. Beautiful pine wood. And then just start filling this in. Not there though. Yeah, so I don't really like this whatsoever. I, I went to looking at it and I'm like, yeah, this, is, this does not look good. So, I have a new plan. So I'm tearing all this granite down. I'm fine with this basic shape as it is, but I thought, well, I haven't really done a hobbit hole or something of that kind of fantasy nature before. So I'm like, oh! How about I just put these down, so I'll have a curve a little bit, and fill it in with dirt. Even in the roof, too. I think that would be really cool something that I've never really done before so we're gonna try that out <laughs> something new for my liking I think I actually really like that idea a lot better than what we were doing so I'm gonna work on getting this chopped down getting the basis of the building done and then see what we can do to make it look all hobbity okay I'm adding in the dirt here very very simple part of this process here so what I'm doing is basically just making a fake hill. Something that not really too many people are going to see outside of us if we go back here. And then once we oop, grab that piece of dirt, it'll basically start looking like this. Now I will try to make it look better on the sides here. Or not, I'm not sure. I, we do have this wood keeping it up, but I think it'll look more natural if we put some grounds going on this side and this side. I think that would look better. Like... We weren't able to get it all over there, so do we have any more dirt, or am I going to have to mine some? Okay, I'm going to have to mine some. Okay, so we got a little bit of an update here. I added the roof area. I swear you guys made me think you're Ill pillagers. But once I head up here, we have a little bit of a farming area that we can place up here. I really like it. This is something I've never really done before, making a little bit of hobbit hole kind of house and then having like a farm on top I've never really done that before and then we have a stairway down I might change this to more of a proper wood like an oak or birch we're just gonna have to see how that goes and how I like it I'm, I'm gonna let it develop in my mind a little bit now I'm gonna go and build a little bit of a roof area just in front of here in here then I think this build should be complete. Okay, folks, after a little while, we finally have our finished starter base. And I loved how this turned out. We have a little hill going around the sides. We have a little bit of moss, a little pit of acacia trees everywhere. And I love how this hill is just shaped. I, I think this is my best hill, like custom terrain I've ever made. We replaced that cherry wood with this pine wood. It looks so much better. And we have a little bit of these cherry trees cherry blossom trees up here and I love it I love it now I think what I might do is add a little bit of other plants like uh, farm uh, base plants like seeds or like wheat or something like that up here I think I might do that in the future 
but we also have this surrounded in potential trees as they grow as you see some are starting to grow we'll also have some random plants everywhere i think this makes it look really really nice to walk through and soon all of these trees will be grown so we'll be ooh, my little snail but <laughs> soon this should be fully done and i love it also if you didn't notice in the swamp pack there's an azalea log awesome now we do i haven't done anything on the inside yet this will be in the future if you guys have any recommendations on what i should do if i should do some rooms or what would look best with this scheme here in the inside please let me know in the comments down below but now that we have our official starter house built it's time to show you guys a little bit of an adventure that I did in between the last episode and this episode. It, there was an editing error, so I only could keep so much of it. So, this is me taking on the undead. Here we are at the pirate ship. Okay, so the fun part is trying to break into one of these. What I'm going to do is destroy these spawners. Because... This is why I'm not seeing one there, so let's break in. Because I don't want to go up there. Okay, we've broken in. No, sir. Nope. Go. Oh. Okay, so they've gotten into my ship. Um, my boat. That's not good. Um. Okay, how much health? Do they have? Oh my! This is a little much, don't you think? Um. Okay, we may have overthought the situation. No, we don't need you here, sir. Yeah. Oh, now he's trying to follow me. Hopefully, you drown there, sir. We don't need you. Um, it's so much easier if I could crit, man. <laughs> I'll be back once I have a situ the situation handled. Hey, I've been letting them just think down there. <laughs> but I finally broke the spawner that was spawning those guys. They were coming in a crazy amount, so. If we got some coal, some TNT, and breadstone. I don't really need that. I will take. This, these blocks of cold, this will be useful for us in the future. Oh, and there's a lot of it. Okay. I'll be back once I have all this mined up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I had died. But we did get back and got our loot back, but um, our boots are not looking too hot. Our boots dirty at night. <laughs> Ooh, we have one more. Ooh, more iron. We'll take, we'll take the nether quartz. That can come handy. And we have some more skulls. So that is about it for the pirate ship. I thought it was going to be like the last series I did, where there was just a bit more a lot more cool loot. I am getting away from you, sir. That was a unique adventure. We did gain, uh, gain some unique items from that, like a couple of enchanting books, so a lot of coal, and some more diamonds. We are going to the nether pickaxe. We've had an iron pickaxe for the longest time, so it's time to throw that in, throw that in, uh, shabing, uh, shaboom, and oh yeah, I keep forgetting <laughs> This is like the one mod I wish didn't exist, is like it leaving in there, because it's kind of annoying when I'm just trying to grab and go with the way Minecraft flows. I am a poet, and I don't even know it. Or in this case, I do. Diamonds. I think there's a hammer. I saw Jay Wisp in his series. What? Okay, we need to build. I'm getting a little sidetracked, but I want to build this. I, I, I want this. I... I think this is for vein mining, if I'm correct. I would love if it's for vein mining. Okay, so we have it. Let's put the rest of our diamonds away. Well, I, well um, actually, I'm gonna fix these through the power of editing. 
<laughs> That's better. Now we have the stuff we need right here. <laughs> we actually have a decent amount. Okay, folks, now it's time to go through the strenuous journey getting obsidian. Okay, folks, now that we've got our obsidian, now we can go and do our portal build. I want to stick to the roots here of our base area design where it's kind of in the ground hobbity. So what if I built my portal like I was doing a diamond mine? And my design mainly is going to be based off of like traditional mine shafts where it's going to look like it's being built into the ground. Okay, folks, it's time to get this started. Okay, folks, after the finished design here, which <laughs> I accidentally didn't record the actual bu actual building, so you got a little bit. Some ter uh, terraforming, while well, also some of the finishing touches. It looks really good. I'm really happy with this. Now it's time. Ooh, um, there we go. <laughs> it's time to light this portal. Let's see what spawn we get. Whoa. Okay. Um, where am I? This, I'm... I'm not liking this. Is that a cactus? I think those are cactuses. What type of tree is this? Oh. Yeah, we gotta be very careful, because we have magma and we have lava. Ooh, ow. What? Whoa. Can you move fast on this? Whoa. More like a cream, but it's very... It's a gel ball. What? Okay, so we have uh, striders over here. This is... So that has to be some kind of, like, lava... Um... Lava... Lily pet. What? I d what? I Is that how you guys sound? Excuse me? Yes, I know. Ooh, we almost fell in the lava. Okay. Um. Okay, we have ourselves a warped forest. What, what biome are we in? Ember Nylium. What, what biome is this? Um, Ember Bog. Huh. It is definitely, like, kind of a... Like, I'd say this is more nethery than even something like that up there. Oh my, look at these trees. You would never see them like this in regular modded, or regular vanilla Minecraft. What are you, little guy? Okay, time to check out what this new ore is. Oh, that gave us gold nuggets. And then that's Cincinnati. I think we can maybe make armor from Cincinnati. I forget. Uh, this is a really cool one. This is kind of like iron. But it doesn't help because I think iron has been added to the nether through this mod pack. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they did. And oh my lord. This makes it look more freaky. When you go into like those cave biomes and they have this, it's like, okay, that adds to the ambience. This makes it look more freaky. Ooh, we have ourselves a nether rupee. Look at that. Give me. Ooh, ooh, where, where was it? Aha, uh -huh, we found more. What is that? Um. No. I don't want what you're selling, sir. Ooh, that gave us five. Ooh. I got a feeling this is gonna be a mistake. Does he... 
Oh no. Oh, it's shooting particles at me. What? Is it getting closer? I don't even want to know. I want to get I want to get away from here. I'm not prepared. I wasn't ready. Get me away from that thing. More ruby for me. Oh yes. Can't be mad with gold. You cannot be mad with it. I'm just saying. Oh, this is a big vein. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's more of this chain-like design it's going for, right? Okay. Um, whoever built it? You're kind of freaking me out. Not gonna lie. I'd like to know where the, uh, where the, where the nether fortress is. That would be helpful, but I don't think we're gonna find that too much here. This is dangerous, though. There's so much lava, there's so much... Like, that biome we spawned in alone is extremely beautiful, but dangerous at the same time. Oh my. The quartz. This is what this is, right? Okay, we got a general basis of our surroundings. We explored a little bit. This will take future episodes as well to explore where either a bastion or a nether portal or portal nether fortress because we won't be able to beat the game without the fortress because we need blaze rods so in the future i need to come in here and i need to find wherever that fortress is but i don't think i'm ready because i'm already losing a lot of durability while in here and this place is dangerous it is absolutely dangerous and whatever mob was over there that one that kind of looked like a a slithering wither. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want any of that. Okay, so in the grand scheme of things, we are really resourceless. So if we even wanted to go and take on a blaze spawner for some blaze rods, I don't think I'm going to be able to right now because I think I'm going to very easily die because I'm already low on food. So... What I think we should do is here within the next episode or two is build ourselves some farms and not just your traditional Minecraft farms. We'll have some of them, but I want to go and find some unique food. I think there's peanuts. I know we have tomato seeds, but there is a lot more that we have not experienced yet. And I do want to go and spe uh, spoof off spoof up and just make our area look pretty i love this build and i love how it looks and i love how our little hobbit hole over here looks i want to keep expanding that i i want to have more themes like i have this over here that i want to go and work on this little waterfall thing it's a work in progress because we want to have it you know naturally going down and making it look nice but we need resources so i think the next episode we go, we try to go get ourselves a food source that is not of regular vanilla Minecraft. And we go get as many resources as possible. Maybe even in a cave. Just kidding, we did the cave episode already. Hey look, I already got started on that future farm goal. Because we have wild asparagus from the expanded delight mod. What can we do with wild there I guess what what can we do uh, is there a world generation I don't care about the generation what can we do with this okay so we can make a crate out where does the wood come in there sir um asparagus seeds is there a way to cook there is at all this is what I was looking for here don't think it's so it's a little bit of an upgrade not much though in terms of our armor we already have diamond armor yeah we can get this okay so we need a nether reed okay what are you I don't want anything to do with you I'm just looking for nether reeds so um looks like we found our fortress um, do you know that common saying with Minecraft where you're searching for something else and that's when you find everything that's rare? Yeah, that still rings true in Minecraft. Okay, I guess we're pausing our goal to work on this. 
Ooh. After we kill that thing. I'm not dealing with you. Die. Okay. He's easy to kill. That's, that's the best thing to note here. We just have to get a couple slashes in. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Do we have any reeds? I just want reeds. No. You stay away. He, he will burn me. I didn't show the clip because it happened right before I pressed play. And the guy tried burning me. So. Yeah. Okay, so we should be able just to hop our way right in. Oh. Nether Fortress on episode four. This is the fastest I've actually found one of these. Um. I need a cactus. <laughs> I'm afraid. Okay. Ooh. Look, this ends here. What are those? That's a pretty log. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff that we can find here in this mod pack. Okay, let's build our way over. Make sure we don't die. Let's look for loot. And preferably not get hit. Okay, first chest. That's not bad. I'll take the blaze powder. That's actually perfect. Um why is this nether fortress so just weird? It has like the spawning patterns of a uh, bastion. It, it's weird. Very weird. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, jump. Come on. I dare you. Bye bye. There is so much new. No. Uh uh. I. I don't want to play that game, sir. Uh, okay, that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> what? Isn't that that mob that Minecraft didn't vote in? No. Okay, let him fire. We'll charge at him. Go. I don't know how fast he does his thing. What? Excuse me? He blew up. Um. Sir, that's not fair. Oh, and I don't even have my armor over here. I don't have to run over to the apartment. Okay. No. I don't even care. I don't even care that we could have used that to farm blazes. No. No. Um. Yeah, we died immediately next to that thing. There is no way that I can currently go against him and win. I'll take the diamonds. That's... Ooh. Okay. I I like them apples. I will say Minecraft. I'll take your solace. Um, anything else? Ooh, I'll take more diamonds. I don't really need those. We already have two. What is this? Protection three, power four. Somebody is moving and it's scaring me. Oh, yeah, Minecraft. You you know my love language. Minecraft, I'm not at least take me out to dinner first, man. Like, oh my, I think Minecraft really knows how to get this guy going. Um, oh my, okay, so where is our there and then you there, you there, there, we, we're back to normal, back to our regular scheduled beating from these, these blaze kings, blaze guys. Um, 
these blaze freaks that that's a good name for them blaze freaks because that is indeed what they are um not to be rude or anything but they're just i don't want to be around them <laughs> minecraft I, I, I thank you for your apology what was that wasn't him i think this for potions this will come in handy for when we want to make any type of potion but it doesn't matter what type of potion we get if we blow up oh I'll blow up in riches <laughs> unbreaking three protection three loyalty three that is an interesting interesting book if i do say so myself okay when it comes if we get any more blaze rods or blaze powder i'll be happy because that helps us with eyes and ender i i can live without potions i'll be honest but the thing i can't live without is being the game we need to beat the game oh yeah hello sir nope oh we'll keep our distance we'll keep our distance we don't need to talk to you <laughs> Yes, I'm a little bit rude to the uh, to the guy. Um, I, I think I'm deserved of that now. What? What? Okay. Do you keep going down? Is this even worth going down and exploring? Is there anything down here? Okay, there might be diamonds. That yeah. I hate that sound with passion. Oh my, I don't like gas. I don't like gas. Okay. Um, well, I don't know how much we've explored. I'm going to be honest. Um, I want to keep exploring. I mean, what all there is here. I just don't know. Obviously, we're coming away with riches. How long till those riches become unimportant, if you know what I mean? Because Minecraft, uh, modded Minecraft specifically, you can get so much stuff in terms of diamonds, and it will not mean anything. And also, these poor zombie pigmen, I'm hearing them die like crazy. Nope. We're turning away. Nope. Nope, I don't want any of that. I know he's selling baked muffins. I'm not that hungry. Um. What? Nope. Time to go home. You hear sounds that sound even scarier than a normal gas? You go. You get out of town. <laughs> you leave. Okay. We get it. We get it, Minecraft. You're... No. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want the smoke. I don't want the smoke. I want out. Okay. We still need those nether reeds. Let me just look where, there's our, where those are at, and then we're getting out of here. Hey, folks. We have traveled a little bit, so going past this biome, which is where this kind of finishes off this nether fortress you go through this kind of pinkish tree biome and then we end up here in the bone reef and we get what we came here for we don't need the pollen dust we need nether reeds there we go we're grabbing as much as we can now that we're home it's time to go over our loot which yeah i know this is here <laughs> this is for next episode uh, we were in there for a short time. And look at the loot. Look at all this. We got all this from that dangerous nether. Which we weren't even in there that long. That's the crazy part. And there's some like highlights here. And then there's some stuff like this. Uh, this is one of the things that I found. And then 35 diamonds just from going in there for a short time. And we're going to upgrade from it. At least somewhat so. Now that we have our rods, where's our... Almost did the wrong thing. Oh. Look at how big it is. 
Oh my. And then... We're gonna go find ourselves a little bit of a cave. Let's see how fast this is. Actually. So let's go up here. Okay. That is a lot faster. Yes. Mm, you're a little weak, but I found another poor sap. Sorry, sir. <laughs> oh. We're gonna go around and we're gonna go and get ourselves some food because we are limited to say the least. So for our food sources for these farms we're gonna make, we already have some items. We got ourselves some tobano seeds, asparagus seeds, some onions, and some wheat seeds, but I wanna get more than just these four. I know there's wild peanuts, there's carrots right outside our door. I wanna have a variety of stuff that we can cook because <laughs> in this mod pack, we are able to cook things with the Farmer's Delight mod. So that means we need to go and hunt for some food, which I know there's wild peanuts somewhere in that direction or that direction. And we have a decent amount to start off with, but I think we can get more from the village. So already next to our starter house, we have some carrots. So we'll harvest these up. So these are wild, so they can spawn naturally in this mod pack, which is cool. Oh look, Red Bob, what do you have? Wow. Apparently nothing. Oh no. They despawned. Can I ask you a favor? Could you consider subscribing? It would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below. And consider liking the video, because liking always helps. Okay, sorry that I didn't get the video of me killing an orc. But look what I found. We found... An ocean temple. We'll have to go into that. I have a feeling that's going to be a lot scarier modded than it is normally and i've been getting pretty decent on getting random forms of food and then what are these sand beets okay more of the merrier right <laughs> this is what we've been looking for so i'm just gonna just uh, that garbage out of my inventory and i'm gonna go search for more Ooh, on a little bit of a break what do we have here in this sucking ship it's gonna be better than our first one because our first one kind of sucked. Ooh, I'll take those potatoes though. And cabbage seeds. Those will come in ha handy. What do we have in chest number two? Buried treasure. I'll take it. We can go find that while getting these seeds. And while I was in that first chest, I also noticed there was rice and flax seeds. Man, we're getting our goal well to do. Ooh. Um, that's new. Um, okay. Uh, in this, and ooh, that's a good chest. That is a good chest. Indeed. Um, that doesn't even make a full a globe. Wait a minute. There's more. Is there a spawner? Oh, if not. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now I just gotta try to... There we go. Now it's time to go look for more seeds, which I'm kinda. And now that we have access to the chest, let's see what's in here. More iron and more gold, basically. Um, I'll take the heart of the seeds. It's, it's, it's all right. Now that we've returned home, what I'm planning to do is to just go along the sides of the road here, leading to here. I'm going to keep this very overgrown look, for the most part, in front. But I think beyond this ma uh, moss, I think on each side we should start putting farms all around and then have a massive wheat field as well at some point. I think all of this could be its own farm. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to need to go make myself a hoe because I still haven't done that yet in this series. I don't know how I haven't been able, I have managed that. Um, how do we want to do this? Should we do, we have a lot of iron. So let's make it out of iron. And do we have some sticks? Yes, we do. This should be pretty easy. We're gonna have to come back here a lot. I can already tell you, but for now this gets it off the, ooh. Come back. Oh, and we can't pick you up. You can just stay there. 
<laughs> we just need to put these away. And I also need my wood here, because we're going to need ourselves a chest to sit out there, because this is a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got the barrier complete. And once we have in here, we have this decent area to work with. Uh, down here, I think I'll do a little walkway down with a little bit of plants heading to the water here. But I think this is gonna look good. I'm not gonna do too much terraforming because I kind of want—I kind of want to just stick to the lay of the land for this build. But what I do need to do is go over and just remove any unwanted grass because this is something we don't need. And I'm gonna try to make everything as level as possible. Uh, so we have as much plants as possible, but I'm not going to do too much terraforming, just a little bit so it makes sense, like this. I think I'll add, no, I will not add two, I will completely get rid of this. I don't think this is necessary. Okay, now that we have this all tilled up and we have ourselves a little bit of a walkway, usually I just do like the basic walkway that everybody does, and just mess with terrain. With my new walkway for this farm I kind of wanted to do something a lot different I wanted this kind of like rocky pathway if you know what I mean like it's built into a rock and it, like it was here and we just shaved it to make it like a stair that's kind of what I wanted to do there I might add some other stuff uh, other types of stones just to make it a little bit more detailed but for now it's fine now it's time to plan things out we have a lot <laughs> Yeah, let's do that in there, get ourselves a couple more of the asparagus, and we're going to start uh, doing the dang thing, because we have a lot of stuff, so we have some flask seeds, we can put those there, we'll put them into like sections, so we'll have flouse there, how about we put carrots over here, and just set up in corners, if you know what I mean, unless we have like so little that we can't do corners like those. But we can do flowers starting here, carrots here, and we can do beetroots here. Ooh, we have a CD place. That's a great, great sign to start us off. Ooh, nighttime. Let me go sleep really quick. Now that I'm back, there's another thing that's going to be prevalent as we go through this mod pack. And that is the fact that there is seasons in this mod pack. Okay, so we're gonna have to add another set of water there, because that's dried up. Well, while I'm talking about this, I'll do that. There's seasons in this mod pack, and determine on what season it is, items can or won't grow to the way you want them, in terms of the speed it takes to fully grow them, so we could be here for quite a while growing something if it's winter. Now, how do I tell if it's winter? I don't know. I haven't <laughs> checked that part of the pack out yet. But the... Ooh, let's grab you back up here. So, I know some things will be a little bit more difficult for us to grow as time moves on. So, you'll see that as this series continues. The hope is that everything grows according to plan. And that we're in more of a summer month. If not, we have quite a while till these will actually grow. So, yeah, that could be a problem, but it's not as much yet. Uh, let's not jump on that. I'm just finding some other spots to place these. I think these could do well right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to finish placing these around, and you'll see it through time lapse. Okay, folks, we've got everything that we have in terms of seeds planted. Right now, nothing's officially grown yet, but some is starting to. But we are more filled in terms of potential food than we were before. This is great. Now, I do have a couple more things that I want to do before the episode's over relating to farms. And that is something to do with those. I want to make a couple of just decorative, but also technical, useful farms. Ing. Oh yeah, rice doesn't work. I don't know how to grow rice. 
I tried playing on the ground. I don't think that's how it is. I'm going to have to research just to see. If you guys know how to grow rice, let me know. But back to where I was going with this. Throw that in there. Get ourselves a bone meal. And we head over to some of our already pre-used spots. And what we'll do is just farm these a little bit. There we go. We'll do one more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. It'll grow back. And then we'll just decorate these ones we already have for the lighting purposes. How many more do we have? I don't know. Okay. Run one right here for now. We'll keep growing them as time goes along. That is extra lighting also. It just makes the place look a lot more pretty. But... I have some wood over here in this chest. What we'll do is create a little place, a little place to put our glow berries on, kind of like an orchard. So from what I remember, we can do stems or beams. Is that, is it a beam? No, I need to go grab my book. Ah, here they are, posts. That's what we want. Okay, folks, now that I got this all set up, we're going to put them underneath these beams here, or on top of the beams. We're going to bring them out, I think, at least five. I think I want to do five. Can we place them on the side like this? Yes, we can. So we're going to go out. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We'll do all of them. How about, how about that? And then blop, blop, and blop. There we go. Now... Just do a little bit of this. Extinguish. There we go. No. I'm close. I know I'm close, but I can't actually remember. I distinguish? Distinguish. Okay, I'm going to stop embarrassing myself. This was what I wanted to build. So plop, 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 plop. And then there. There. And we'll just put one more there. It'll start growing. That's what I wanted. So, this will start us off in terms of a farm. So we can go and make ourselves a little pathway going this way. And terraform this spot. And what we can do is continue this. Go into a road this way. And have ourselves like a little orchard going around here in the future. I just wanted to get this first one set up so I can test out the design of it. Uh, if you've ever seen any of J Wisps or uh, F Whips videos, they both kind of have builds like this in both their series. Some are different than others. As you notice, we are diamonded up. Usually, this means we're doing pretty good, but this this is better Minecraft, folks, and. <laughs> There is mobs in this game that will be able to kill us way too easily. Uh, we today are going to go mining for nether ruby. Why do we need nether ruby? Well, based off these alone, it shows that it's better. See what I did there? <laughs> well, better than diamonds. And if I can get enough to replace our diamond gear, especially since it, it's so easy to get, I would like for us to get enough of this to create a full set of armor and tools. So that means today we're going to be going to the nether. Uh, before we go, I need food. So I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, harvest some of this. And as well as going into the nether we're gonna go finish the necessary blazes we need to get enough ender por uh ender pearls to beat the game so i'm gonna get some food together and i'll see you guys in the nether okay now in the nether we're gonna go find ourselves some ruby ore which is gonna be those red dots that are located on the netherrack. I think looking on the netherrack is the best way. Doing this like find of uh, finding finding no no bad going around finding like we're in a cave looking for diamonds. That is the best way. I think we're gonna find this. Okay, let him see me. Shoot me. 
go, 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 go. Come here. Yeah. Get back. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Run. Don't get caught. I said don't get caught. Oh, you little. Ah. I don't like those. It, and there's a guy over there. Okay. Let us fire go. And we go. We sprint. We sprint. We sprint, boys. Come on. Ah. Oh, no place rods. Oh, and that guy's being a jerk. Run back. Run back. Run. Gosh. Gosh, dang it. Okay. Take you out. Take you out. And then run. We're at least closer to our goal. We need four more of those. And you're kidding me. Okay, I am up to number four. Let him go. Let him go. 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 Let him die. How much should we get? Okay. So I did kill another guy. And got two more. Uh, and you want to spawn over in this direction? So I can... Brick, are you? Um... Oh, I wish I had a bow and arrow. Probably deadly. What did you just do? Um... He gave me withering. Okay, jerk. Now it's on. Are you supposed to be kind of like aid for a... I think you're supposed to be like an aid for... Uh, the withers, maybe? Okay, we need to eat. Eat. Okay, what did he drop? What's this enchantment? Sharpness 3, loyalty 3. That is actually really good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna be as thorough as we can. Let him try to attack. He's gonna... Okay, go. He's gonna try to explode. He has backup. Uh, we can do this. We can do this. Okay. He's there. Kill you. And then... Don't let you explode. Uh, come here. Will you just let me... No! Come on, come on, come on, please. Save me. Get here. Oh! Um, okay, so I just mined all the way down here. My stuff is saved. Um, yeah, I took a, like, broken or almost broken pickaxe. Just enough. I didn't even care about the armor. If I could sprint fast enough, I can get it done. Oh, my lord. That scared me. That That is actually probably the best I've ever done at saving my gear while uh, falling and potentially dying. Usually, I will freak out. Not realize what's going on. Like, realize, like, you know, panic. I panic. And I'll die. Um. Yeah, usually that ends up being terrible for me. Um. Luckily, it's not. Um, luckily, we actually survived. Um. Luckily, so that was close to death. We were extremely close to losing all of our stuff. Maybe not. Maybe not these. I don't know about those. Mainly because of the fact that they're like gather yeah, nether stuff. I don't know if they have that nether like immunity like netherite does. So the hat was close. The hat was utterly close. Um, I really need get some warped planks when we're out of here because I want to do a building project with them, but. Oh, our little uh, firefly friend, but I mean, we're not 
here for him. We need to get back in here. I want to kill one. Oh, nope. I forgot I don't have the thing on. Did I lose the thing? I'm pretty sure I didn't. It must have broke. Okay. It's that guy again. Okay, let's eat up. I'm gonna fight him again because he gave some good armor. Come here. Die. I want your stuff. He's not really as powerful as I thought, but he does give some good enchanting books. Oh my. He has some really good enchanting books. I didn't even read what he is. Um, do I have one more? I don't need any of the ender pearls, sir. I need your friends. I need some blazes. Um, any more blazes? Aha, yes. I did literally ask for the smoke, so... There we go. That's all I need. So, um... Yeah, you're done. Uh, you do get broken spawners, so I wonder... I wonder if we have the ability... To go and make our own spawners. Okay, time for the long treacherous trip up this will be worth it I swear so we're more at four right now so what does that give us oh they don't always double apparently okay nothing in those I probably shouldn't do that that's gonna kill our pickaxe okay now time for the treacherous mine down ooh that's her diamond gear is breaking no. Oh boy. Why? No, you don't get to do that. You don't. Do not look the enderman in the eye. I've already dealt with enough enderman today. Okay, what did we get from all of that? We're up to eight, so that means we're up to twelve. Which is good. Um, any more? No. Okay. Hey, just around the corner, we have a little bit more than rubies. We're now up to... Looks like 14. I did get all those right. Yeah. So it looks like we are now up to 14. Once again, 27 is our goal, so we're only halfway through. Luckily, we are getting through this pretty quick. It's going a little a little bit more successful than I thought, boys. Ruby lucky right now, because we found some more. So, we need to carefully get down here. I say carefully because our armor's very close to breaking, so... Okay, it's time to see what we get. Let me mine all these rubies. Oh, this is a mega vein. Okay. Ooh, and we dropped one. 18. We're up to 20. Oh, boy. Boys, every time I click off from a clip, they show up. So, obviously, when I'm not recording or when I'm close to not recording... Their camera, you know, they uh, they don't they don't like uh, being around people. Uh, they're definitely not camera shy because they really like the attention. Apparently, <laughs> um, let's just come on. There we go. Little bit more protection, just in case we have a little accident if that happens. It shouldn't. There we go. We have that there. Turn our head this way. There we go, and then. Don't forget you. Perfect. We are now up to 26, folks. We just need one more vein of just one. Oh, boy, folks. We found the winning number. Well, more than the winning number, because there's a lot more. Oh, and this is big. Okay. We're being safe. Because I don't want death. There we go. That brings us to 33. Yes, we have enough to get out of here. So it's time to find my way home. Now that we've got all of that delectable ruby ore, I'm getting out of here. I'm tired of being close to death at every waking moment. So I'm going to find my way 
out of here, and I think it's gonna be that way. Mainly because we have a little bit of a dirt path. And usually the closest to the dirt path, usually pretty good in my situation, because that means I've been there. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Oh boy, portal to the overworld. Oh boy, how I have missed you. Oh boy, folks, we are home. And we can finally make the rest of our gear. So let's throw that and let's get rid of some of this more use, uh, useless uh, loot. I'll go through it and reorganize here in the future. Right now, I just need it all out of my inventory. I'm getting way too cluttered with everything we've had in here. I had all, all about 45. We ate 20 of those just in there. I, w I hope that shows you how dangerous it is in the nether. So folks, it is time for a helmet, for a chest plate, for a pair of pants, for some boots. There we go, we can finally retire, retire D's from the apartment in just this random chest plate. Nobody cares about it. And... Oh! Oh, folks. We are lathered in red here on the Beard Boy channel. Look at how... Look at it just... Look at that. It's like it's already enchanted. Well, somewhat. Auto smelts ores. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. And flame and knockback of that. Oh boy. And uh, also, if you guys didn't notice, I got my cape finally working. This is uh, something that just came out recently and I'm so happy it's working. I see other Minecraft YouTubers making Let's Plays with their capes and I'm like, I just want to be a part of the cape action. <laughs> there we go. But that is not all, folks. We need to make our remaining tool. We don't really make really all the tools. I, I can, like, do we need a god, uh, a god shovel? Not really. Uh, well, let's see here. So we need a axe. Uh, <laughs> auto smelts ores. Yeah, it doesn't really get the benefits. It's just a better axe. Um, yeah. There we go. And it looks cooler. And... While we're here, we might as well repair this boy because he's been getting used up like crazy. So I don't want to use all of these. I'm good with that. There we go. Now we can throw you back into the loot chest. Throw you in there. And we're basically loaded up on the things we need right now in the series. It took a little bit. It took about an hour and a half's worth of mining just in the nether. But that really isn't just that, because I spent time also getting that blaze rod, which we should be able to defeat the Ender Dragon by next episode if we really want to. I'm probably going to focus next episode, though, on getting a source for arrows, because we don't have any arrows. Uh, and we have an unbreaking one bow. We just need the arrows. Uh, and... Yeah, one of those isn't going to cut it. We might have everything here. If not, I'll go and search for them. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't think I have any Ender Pearls, so we know where to get them. They're in the Nether. But... We should be able to defeat the Ender Dragon either next episode or the episode next. Which will be the quickest I've ever defeated the Ender Dragon. And then second... That means we get the amazing better end blocks, which is what I want so desperately bad. And I hope you guys are excited for that as well, because I'm extremely excited. It's, it's the best mod, I think, in this entire pack. I love the better end. But folks, that is here in the future. I had a blast getting this armor. It took a little bit of time. But we got both our goals of the armor, the tools, through mining for rubies, and we got blaze rods. We have enough blaze rods to hopefully be enough to just explore, find the stronghold, and get into that dang end. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really did. And if you did as well, 
consider subscribing. The support in the series has been amazing, and anybody who's watching this video is a newbie who gets to this point, please consider subscribing, because if you got to this point in the video, you want to see more, obviously. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps. And comment down below, Rubies. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Okay, folks, if you're still at this point, it's time for bonus content. I don't usually do bonus clips after the end of an episode, but I decided why not put enchantments on these now that we have everything we need. So I first wanted to do sharpness here. Right there, yep. So these books, it looks like they're multi use. So sharpness uh it looks like we got unbreaking three protection three or loyalty three protection three power five we can have ourselves a really good bow um piercing two okay so it really determines do we want unbreaking three on like our pickaxe or do we want power five we can always get better armor, so I think the Unbreaking 3 will be more appreciated on this bad boy. Uh, power 5, though. Mm. Ooh, wait, Power 3. That's good enough for me. Um, Unbreaking 1, Power 3, and then we had another book. Blast Protection, Piercing 2. Okay, never mind, it, it's not going to work. That is good. Which means we can do protection three on this bad boy. And then finally, we can do unbreaking on our pickaxe. <laughs> that did drop us all of our levels. But now we're even more enchanted than we were before. So we just throw those bad boys back on. There we go. And look at that. We have ourselves enchanted gear. Now, we didn't have anything on the feet. Oh, well. But we did get ourselves protection three, unbreaking three, sharpness three, and unbreaking one, power three. I think that's a good set in enchantments. I just got an arrow. I don't really have supply for arrows but we can enchant a bow <laughs> you see in where i'm going with this i want to get infinity uh i think you can get that through a bow i might have to do multiple enchant and it's gonna take a while to get this to be in the perfect bow here in the future but we need an enchanting room so today i feel like we need to make an enchanting enchanting room we need to have one that looks proper that looks amazing and i think i got an idea <laughs> also as you notice here in our world it is fall we are officially in the fall times that means these plants here are gonna grow slower okay, the best way we're gonna decide where everything's gonna go is to have this be placed in the middle uh yeah this ain't gonna work like that beard boy but <laughs> As we have this here, we should be able to go and figure out what we want to do. I think I want to make this very warped, <laughs> if you can see here. Why do I want it to be like this kind of warped color? Because I kind of want to feel like this is, like the enchanting has affected the area. So we're going to use this for that. And while doing that, we're also going to decide to let us know where these, there. Those are annoying me. To decide where all of this, these bookshelves are gonna go, they're gonna be somewhere within this vicinity. So if we're gonna have it like that, then we need to figure out the outside portions of it. So, so, if we have this correct, or I'm gonna go right here. One, two, three. Let's see if we can cut in one, like so. And then up like this, and let's see how that looks. Oh, I wish I had something that would mine this faster. Okay, that can be fine. 
So we'll have that going up and around on that end and have it, oh, how dare you. Have that going like this on this end as well, which we have about one block space. So we're gonna wanna do one block space here. One, two, and three. Space it out, one. Bam. And take this way, and we should have that perfect kind of, yep, there we go. Now we need to bring it up. I want it to connect going over like that, so I'm gonna work on that right here through the power of editing. Okay, now that we have it like this going all the way around, I think it's gonna look best. Uh, what do you, what do you call this? Stripped, yes. <laughs> I don't use stripped variants of blocks very often, but I think this is gonna look really good. Now I'm gonna do it on the other sides as well, going this way and this way, and then we're gonna see what we can do for a little design after that with some of our other blocks, which we could use the warped, but I don't know if that's gonna be the best look, so we're gonna have to see. Okay, I'm not liking the warped stem blocks here. So I wanna see if we don't uh, strip them and that it's a different block. Maybe this is gonna look better, maybe a little darker. Um, I think this could help, because it was not looking good to me at because I do want to use this for the roof because I think that will be actually pretty nice. I really like the use of the warp block and how it's colored. And then, yeah, <laughs> this is not going to stay. I, I thought I was going to be a little... I was going to be a little... Uh, what's the word? Clever in detail, and that didn't really work. So I'm going to change this side really quick. And then I'm going to get my opinion on this. Okay, yeah, that's looking much better. Um, I think we could also do like stairs here on the bottom, so I have a crafting table in here, I forget. Get you guys out of there, and with our uh, stone brick bricks here, uh, we don't need seeds, we can test out my theory to see if this will look good. Uh, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. And then let's see if they look good connected. Because right now they're, hmm, I don't know. They're just all right. I need to go sleep the night. Okay, I think that definitely looks better. So we'll do that for these. And then what we could do is use these beams for detail on these parts like this. So right there. Ooh, I like that a lot better already, okay. That's a better look already. I kind of like that more. Because it looks like it's kind of being supported upwards. While also giving a little bit more detail. Which I love that little bit of detail. Now I'm going to go do this to the other sides. Which means stripping these down. I'm going to have to go farm some more logs. So luckily the, these uh, cherry logs that we have all around us now. They grow really fast. So I'm able to get these at a consistent rate. And like get at least 30 of them. Just by doing this. Oh, it's so great. Okay, I need to go mining really quick because we're almost out of stone bricks. Uh, maybe we have some cobblestone that we can smelt, but I highly doubt it. I am very low on... Yeah, 16 isn't going to cut it there, buckaroo. Okay, time to go mining. Also, with this cave ravine area down here, I have an idea for a storage room, a storage cave, if you will. That I want to go and do here soon. Uh, I think that's going to be the next episode, uh, which would be episode eight, episode nine. Once we get, so a lot of what we're waiting for now is to get infinity. Once we get infinity, I can go and farm some Endermans, and we can go and fight a little bit of an Ender Dragon. I first want to get this enchanting room done, and a storage room would not hurt. But I think we can easily do that after we get a little bit of something called infinity. So, those are probably the next episode plans. Also, exploring exploring the better end. I'm so excited. I want to explore that so bad. It is probably my favorite mod that this pack has. So I'm going to continue mining and I'll see you guys once I have enough. Okay, well that is a smelting. 
I'm gonna work on the rest of the roof, and I have some design ideas for this roof. So, let me just complete this entire finished roof, the other three fourths, really quick. Okay, now that the roof like this. Oop, need to stop recording. <laughs> Uh, now that the roof is done like this, I think what we'll do is connect... Hmm, I don't know. I think we want to keep those beams going all the way over for detail reasons. But I think we can add more to the roof with a little bit of this. I think what we should do... Okay, so warp planks can... Oh, no. They, yes, they can. Okay. For a second, I didn't know if they could or not uh, create planks or any things of the sort after they've been destroyed. Apparently they can. That's good. That is good. So what I'm going to do, I think we should go over each part like this. That way it looks a little bit better this way. There we go. Like so, like so. This side too. Come on. Join the party. There we go. How does that look from a distance? Okay, that's much better. What we can do is then come down here and then extend them to the bottom. What did I mean by that? I mean like this. Like so. Uh, not not like that. I didn't I didn't ask for it like that. <laughs> but like this. So it has a little bit more detail. I like my detail in my builds and if we can get that good detail with these warp planks that will be great and I think we should bring those down at a certain point for the entrance. So with removing this hopefully this gives us that preferred look that I'm going for for the roof. Okay, that does help. But, <laughs> I think these ones are fine. Let's bring these ones down. No, th that's not where I wanted to click. Right there. How's that look? Uh, maybe ring this one up. That way it's a little bit more uniform like that. So down with these two. And then plop, plop. How's that look from a distance? Oh, I like that so much better. Okay, I'm gonna work that on the other sides. Okay, I'm now really loving this roof design. I'm really loving it. I think this here, this portion here, uh, really helps it kind of feel like more of a roof and not just blocks place there. I think that helps so much more. Oh, that looks so better. I think the roof is done. Um, I don't know. Is there a way to add like a chimney or I don't know. I don't think there is. I do like what I did with the roof, but I think there's just one more thing we can do. Oh. I don't know what that thing is, too. That, you know that feeling when you know there's something else you can add to something, like a build, a Minecraft build? But you can't think of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we can add these. Maybe not as a... Maybe. We'll see. I need to empty my, my inventory. Okay, I think I want this side to be the entrance. So, in that case... I'm going to finish the rest of the build on the other sides, then we can work on a uh, cool little entrance on this side. So, bop, bop, bop. You guys know the drill. Um, Yeah, it's connected with these, so we have to kind of do this. Hopefully we don't need those. It's just a guideline. We can fix it later. If we have to, we'll build underground. We've spent too much time on the build already. I think we're fine. I, I, I think the world's not gonna end. Okay, now that that is complete, this is how it looks finished on these other sides. Um, is there anything we add, can add to these? I just noticed them. Um, maybe 
we add a slab to those corner ends. So, come on. There we go. Sometimes, I wonder if it's just me, but do you guys get like a misclick when you try to craft something sometimes and it just doesn't work? Does that work? No. <laughs> I like it the other way around. Give me. There we go. And then plop. There we go. So on this end, I want it to be more of an entrance. For that, I think I'm going to keep this end so we have a better way to get this crafting table made. I think I'm going to keep it open. So for that, I think we should do is craft a little bit of some fence and, uh, fences. Excuse me. Sometimes you can't speak when you've been playing Minecraft for a couple hours. There we go. Maybe we merge them with the beams. I'm not sure. So, bam. Bam. And let's bring them all the way downward. Bring it. You can't really bring it in one like this. Uh, we can do this. I think what we can do is use this warped... Uh, what is that? Hype Fay. What did I... I don't know. I'm not the one who... Don't question me. Question Minecraft. I, I... I just play the game. We can have this on the ground in here. And have that kind of looking cool as we walk around on the floor. With it kind of having that bleeding effect. Or veiny effect. And then we can place that right there. That works perfectly fine. Okay, I need to go get a shovel. And after that... We should just need to get a little bit more of those, uh, those. I can't pronounce its name at all, and I'm not even going to go and bother trying, because it's going to hurt me if I do, so... Okay, folks, there it is, the finished interior, outerior design sides for the, uh, for the enchanting setup itself. This looks really good. I am really proud of it. Didn't have to be a major huge build, but just had to be good enough that we can come in here and have ourselves a little bit of an enchanting area. Now, I need enchanting books. I need them bad, and I think we can get some over at the village. Okay, there is not. I stand corrected. We will be taking these with me. Mine now. Sorry, boys. These are mine. Belong to me. Mine. Okay, with all these books, what does it take to make a bookshelf here? We're going to make sure we have enough here. So, bam. Bam. Then, we're going to get enough for our bookshelf. How about that? Oh, that's plenty. That is plenty. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to have to mine you up and then find a perfect spacing here. So, I got to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, folks, let's see if we have enough. Throw you in. Oh, we have level 30. There we go. It is finished. Now, we're just going to put these two in there because we're going to have to enchant to get that enchantment we want because I want infinity. And if I'm correct, you do get it from here. Oop, not that. Bam. We could get power five, but I don't want power five. So, we're just gonna have to wait on that. And we did a little bit of interior decorating, adding a little more stuff, some storage, our great stone, and our crafting table. But oh my, it looks like an enchanting setup. Now we just need his infinity. But we need a way to gain experience. How do we do that? Well, we're going to need ourselves a classic XP mob farm. Play the music!
now that you guys got to saw the building of this magnificent structure for XP, we have ourselves our classic mob farm. So, basic point, if you don't know how this works, mobs will spawn up there in these little four quadrants. There is trapdoors that they cannot... S so, like, we know there are trapdoors. They don't know. They think it's a regular block, so they'll walk their ways to these little tunnel things here which have water that pushes them down to here and it works pretty well so wow um so i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna get some experience and then ender dragon time we're far enough away so those mobs should spawn but while doing that i have a little bit of emeralds so we can also do it this way to get ourselves some experience I'm going to look around, see if anybody has anything where it's one emerald each. If so, we might have, might have ourselves a good way to get experience this way. Uh, we might have somebody in there. That seriously only gave us that, that much of experience. Man. <laughs> Okay, people, don't judge me. I need the XP. Okay, folks, after a little bit of grinding, we finally have enough experience. Also, our ruby armor broke while I was in the nether. I didn't realize it kind of goes quicker than diamond, but it's stronger than diamond. You know what I mean? So I made myself a new set of gear. We might be able to get some good uh, enchantments. But before that, I want to go and enchant this bow. Here we go, folks. Ooh, that's actually really good. Okay. Uh, let's take you off and let's throw you in there. What do we get there? No. Um, what about the pants? Unbreak it. Ooh. Not you did there. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, plus three. Plus three. Helmet. What does the helmet get us? Blast protection, that's all right. And then take off the boots, throw the boots in. Ooh, I'll take feather falling. So, bop, 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 and bop. What does that all have? Protectile protection, ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, this is some pretty good armor. And we have some decent enchantments on that. And then, where is it? I have it here somewhere. One of these chests, there it is. Let's see if we can go in, put these two together and see what they give us. Okay, throwing the bows in like so, bam, bam. With a cost of 11, it's gonna make our infinity power five, or four, sorry, and unbreaking three, move that, unbreaking three, power four. Doesn't look like it's gonna, eh, it moves power. I think that's enough, enough of a, a done dealio to make that good and then yes I only have 11 but my hope is that when we go over there it's completely already done there with some items and then we need some food okay it might not be the smartest what we can do is just load up on the carrots I think that should be fine I think, and we also have our golden apples, so we should just be fine. So, what direction? This way. It's time. Oh. Well, I'm really hoping there's some eyes of Ender there. Okay, are we close? Here? Maybe. Oh, we found it. Let me in. Ooh. Okay, that's just a really cool thing. I thought it was a waystone for a second. Okay, what direction? Send me. Send me to the portal. Send me to the portal. Okay, we have the library. With a. Ooh. That's a good enchantment. I'll be taking that. Anything else in here of note? I think that might be it, but there's a lot of bookshelves here for the future. Oh my. Okay. Where are you, end portal? Oh, here. 
Here we are. Okay. Take that out. We don't need it. Where's the other ones? They already die? Okay. Seriously. I'll be back with two more. Okay. I'm back. Now it's time to finish what we started. Here we go. What the heck is that? What is that? Excuse me? And also, thanks Minecraft for giving me a uh, spawn so close to the edge of the island. That's quite wonderful. I, I, I applaud you. Um. So it hit me off. I just lost all of that progress. And we don't have enough diamonds to really make up everything. Um, kind of need to redeem myself. We had enough diamonds to make some gear. I have enough to get this going. I'm going back. I'm not waiting. I need to beat this now. I, <laughs> it's going to drive me nuts after last episode. So I'm going to the Ender Dragon. We are going to kill him. Okay, folks. We're back. Oh, this glitch again. Okay. We're gonna need to hurry it up. Once we're connected to the island here, we're gonna be fine. There. Okay. Let's get ourselves a little spot here. That way we can see what's going on. And know what we need to do. Okay. Very easily, we know what we need to do. Like regular Minecraft, we need to destroy these. So, we're going to mine onto there, and we're going to build up and destroy them, because I do not have my bow and arrow. There's one down. Okay. We're gonna have to reuse these. Go down. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Jeez. Oh, we got that clutch. Okay. Okay. Folks, I really wish I had an insta mine. Oh gosh, dang it. I wonder if it's possible if we can kill it. As for chief with the respawn anchors. I wonder, so I'm gonna take that experiment to heart and wait for it to make its way down. It, it sounds stupid. It is. Where is it? It's over there. Or she, not it. Run, run. You know what's great? Having a spawner. Yes, there we go. Okay, this is so much easier. Come on. Get it, come on. I only have a stack. There we go. Okay. We're making ooh, nope. Come back. We're making progress. That one's lit. There we go. Okay. Come on. Okay, okay. I think we got him down. I just gotta be good with my bow shots. I said be good with my bow shots. Okay, that saved my life. Okay, that's clutch play. Okay. Yeah, 
this is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. How much do you this guy? He's protected. How, how are you supposed to get him? Oh, come on. Come on. Why are you so difficult to hit? Gosh. He doesn't make any sense compared to the vanilla version. Oh no. Oh, of course. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh god. Okay. We're getting close. We are getting really, really close. Oh no, he's almost there, he's almost there. Okay folks, I think we got it. I think I'll finally will not die. I think, I think we're done. We just need to get this last shot, come on. You know how much that hurt? I have died probably 10 to 12 times. Excluding the one death we had in the last episode. Oh, I've been at this for like an hour. Hour and a half. Okay. Let's not jump in there. Do we have... Oh, it doesn't have a... Okay, I guess I'll go to the... Stop staring at me. I'll go to the overworld and we'll... Grab this, it'll also have time to resupply and everything. I'm just gonna say that spawner was a came in clutch because we needed these arrows bad. So I'll be back for you. Oh boy, we completed it. And now that we're back in the end, that's VMR. We can find this all over this island and over on the end islands. Outside of this end island, if you know what I mean. This is the dragon end island. The regular end islands, the ones with the elytra. Also, we have some ender shards. This is by far my favorite mod pack of the early mod that this mod pack provides. I hate these things so much. Endermen are so annoying. Oh my... This island is filled with Thasmium. Now, this is kind of like the iron of the end. Kinda. Now, let's go and get our new natural birth right and... Whoa. That's a whale. That's an end whale. That's cool. Okay, so make sure we don't... Go in there. Bop. Okay, where'd you go? Okay. Now we're gonna grab you, dig down a little bit, there we go, place our little special guy there, and oh, there it is, the dragon egg, oh, that is amazing. Now where was, there it is, the end gateway, we want to go into that because, oh boy, the next part of this episode is there. It is convenient that it's right there, so we can make like a little end travel system right here. Um, let's use the end stone first to build over. Mainly because I'm very iffy with the end. If my keyboard di like dies at any moment, or I lose so much more stuff again. 
we grab ourselves an Endy Pearl. And we shoot in. There it goes. Okay. It scared me for a second. Ooh. Umbrella tree membrane. Oh, this is a beautiful biome. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I want it. It's so bouncy. I think we can make a trampoline out of this. It, oh. That's what we wanted there. That's... That's the good stuff. Let's see if that works. Please don't send us over the edge. Ooh. Okay. Let's try to make our way inside. At least so we're... Federally protected. Let's get these guys. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, we're not letting these guys spawn. Okay, come on. They're not gonna let me. Oh, that's that's why. There. Come on. Nope. Not letting you spawn. Up we go. Oh, this is great. How do we claim this again? I forget. Is it just... Okay, we'll take it the, the hard way. Since I don't remember how to grab them by themselves. And was that it? Yeah, I think that's it. That's the light switch. We don't need to grab the lights. I'm going to head back down. Ooh, music this. I'll take that. Protection. And the knife. And we don't really need that. I'm going to immediately put that on. That's, that just seems like a good thing. Ooh. Oh boy. What? Ooh. Okay. That works. Thanks, Ender Pearl. Oh boy. Ooh. We've been hit. Get him. Come on. Break. Okay. We're gonna have to attack with these. Okay. Stop it. Oh, this is unfair. Oh, wait. Oh, the bow and arrows and the... Okay, where's that last one? There he is. Die. There we go. That's a lot. Oh, they're coming from out there. Okay. We're good. What's in these chests? Or... Excuse me? Excuse me. No. Away from it. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take the emerald. Status. That's a unique book there. Ooh, more music discs. And... Yeah, I'm not gonna take any iron. Put them in void on dying. Oh, that would've came in handy a little bit earlier. Uh, let's grab that. Mending Curse of Binding. That's not really worth it. Fire Protection. Ooh, we can make ourselves a really good... Really good. Ooh, wait. Curse Vanishing, so if I die, it's gone. Oh, uh, we're gonna leave the status book there, because we already have it. Okay. We got a decent amount of loot, guys. I am ready to get out of here. Folks. I do not know why you're there. But we have the prize jewel of this expedition. Oh my. Can we wear this at the same time? Yes, we... Okay. We're using it to get out immediately. Okay. Oh, this makes it so convenient. Let's just get our way out of here. We can come back another day. 
Ooh. That could have been close. Okay, folks. Fun's over. It's time to go home. The Elytra. And with the Elytra, it is time to upgrade this bad boy because of all the levels we have. So what can we get? Oh, it... What? It already has a breaking three and mending. But today's episode, we are going to spend some time and recoup some of the loot we have lost. I am basically at one diamond. So... It is time for a mining ex ex excubition. That's not how you say that. Okay, folks, I've got the torches. I've got no weapons. Do, do I seriously not have any? Well, oops. Uh, let's craft ourselves a sword really quick. Also, look at how beautiful this is getting. Oh, I love just adding things as time goes along. Okay, folks. I just got back from the enchanting area over there, and fortune, wait, fortune three? Yeah, fortune three, we're gonna have so much loot. Okay, now it's time to make our expedition to a cave. Okay, we've been journeying for quite a bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dig down, mainly because I am getting tired of trying to find a cave when there's a high chance I'm not gonna find an entrance, so we're just gonna make myself a little bit of a shovel really quick. Grab that uh, so and I'm gonna start digging down. I'll see you guys when I'm down there. Okay. I fell from down there. Looks like we're in a dripstone cave. Nice to see. And ooh, we have these kind of weird ores. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. I'd like to mess with some redstone. I don't usually mess with redstone in Minecraft. I'm not experienced at all. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through my inventory really quick. Okay, now that we got the inventory decluttered, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna love the amount of stuff we're gonna be able to get. Oh, there's there's a creepy boy. Get it done and over with already, so we don't have to deal with you. There he goes. There we go. What do we have in the chest? Uh, ooh, a music disc. I don't take the name tag. Gotta be honest. I don't. I don't think I need that. But we have tons of iron. We have tons of other ores. And the hope. Turn on how down we are. I, what are we? We are at level one. Why level one? So we should have diamonds spawning potentially. And no, sir. No. Cut. So stop moving. There we go. <laughs> oh, and there's a bunch of creepy parties. Hopefully there's not a ancient city down here. I'm not wanting to fight one of those right now. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'd rather not. What do we eat? So we got some more iron. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forget there, uh, because the textures in this, you can find iron and like granite and diorite which is kind of real eh, that's really cool i like it for the texture reasons now it makes you think why minecraft couldn't add it deep slate silver ore i still don't know what this is used for i think it's more just for decorative use because i haven't found a true use case for it okay so a little bit of an update we were able to get a bunch more uh co rock copper gold Lapis and redstone. Look at this. Pop. Okay, I didn't want cobwebs. I'm gonna be honest. What about that one? Ooh, what is? Is that an armor stand? Yeah. It's a statue. Cool. Oh, folks, we have found them. Now let's see how many diamonds we get from this. No need string. Ooh, five diamonds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Anything else? No. Oh well. We did at least get five diamonds from that, so we're now at five diamonds. You know, since I used one of my diamonds diamonds to repair this pickaxe, so, uh, uh... What did I spawn? What's a void blossom? What? Skeleton, explain. Explain. He didn't explain. So if we run over here, it pops up, right? I gotta investigate what this is. Okay, I found... Okay, okay. I have found what this thing is. 
It's over here. It's a boss. I'm gonna kill it. How do you... Whoa. Excuse me? It has thorns. Whoa. Okay. Let's talk about this. Whoa. No. This is, uh... Apparently we got ourselves in a boss battle. Okay, I need to go and eat. I didn't realize we we're gonna get ourselves in a boss battle. Um, come here, boy. Let me kill you. I swear it's gonna be quick. And oh, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Look, kill him. Never in my life has spore blossoms been like this to me. How could you? Oh, go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him, come on. Okay, those ones there, I don't think are powering it. It's, he respawned them. You're kidding me, you respawned them? Oh, that is just rude. How are you supposed to get those then? What? What? Start to go down in hell. Come on. Stop it. Oh. You're rude. You're rude. Okay. We gotta rush him. We gotta rush him. Stop. Y'all, come on. Okay, it's finally dead. This, this this thing is not today's episode. Today's episode is mining, so I felt it was alright. Kill him off stream because he was extremely annoying. I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to worry about it too much longer, but yes, I did manage to kill him. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Because we had full diamond gear and now we are just out. So, I'm gonna have to go and find some more ore. There's a lot of really cool stuff around here. We can get these spore blossoms. They'd be really cool for the home. But I'm mainly looking for ore, so I'm just gonna keep exploring. Completely missed them, so how much does that get us to? So that gets us up to seven. My goal is to get at least to somewhere like maybe 15, 20, so we can at least start making armor again. Well, that's fantastic. Yay, more diamonds. How many? R really? That that much? Okay, we're up to ten, and we have some diamonds down here as well. Really? Just that. How much did that give us? Ooh, that was a <laughs> that was a lot of fourteen. That's pretty good. I'm saying <laughs> that's pretty good. A little bit more redstone won't hurt either. Ooh, look it up here. Oh, this place is pretty. I love these parts of the Minecraft update that came out not really recently anymore, because we're on 1.19. This is the caves from 1.18, with a little bit of Young's better caves. I love how it looks. I love the added additions of some item. This, right next to this, this is great. This looks amazing. Okay, folks, I have only 10 more torches, and with the un terrible amounts of lag and ooh we got some dudes fighting who's gonna win oh the zombies won the underdogs they finally got a victory I don't think I've seen that in quite a while but the lag here has been unbearable uh, I don't know if it's like I've not really had too much bad lag even lag at all with the rest of this mod pack but for some reason, the caves are just unbearable. Hopefully this gets fixed. And it might have already gotten fixed, because this is a previous version. Thanks for shooting at me when I'm talking, sir. Uh, no. 
But I'm hoping with the new update this performance problem is fixed, because y you see that? This isn't a server, it's just a... This is vanilla. No, not vanilla. Modded. But it's a regular Minecraft world or Minecraft world loading thingy. Could you stop? What I thought. <laughs> I'm still mad I lost all that experience from the dragon fight. That that's torturous. Y you see that? I'm having such bad lag here. Okay, we have three more torches. We'll place them down, and then we'll get hit by another skeleton. No. My lord, those guys are everywhere. Okay, we have two more. I'll keep you guys on screen till it's over. Well, after I'm done eating. Okay, now that we're healing up. Ooh, if I could jump correctly. One more. There. We'll end it with cobweb. Gross. We are walking out with pretty good loot, though. Like, look what's in there. Make some decent stuff in this one as well. We didn't really fill this up. We also had 14 diamonds, which makes this entirely unbearable situation worth it. So, it's time to get out of here before I die again and lose everything. I'll see you guys at home. Ah, the frame rate here is so much better. And now that we're home, we get all of this delectable loot all this delectable loot and we didn't really need the iron but I did get the iron we got a bunch of amethyst uh, from that little flower boss thing and there's a couple of stuff like redstone and we also got diamonds so we did restock hopefully we can restock more in the future by going on some you know <laughs> end rating I do really want to do that because you're gonna get we'll get a lot of gear just from that we are finally working on a project I have been waiting to start of <laughs> the storage cave. Yes, we've been waiting to do this for a little while. And I'm ready to add this down here. I got some plans. First, we need to go to the end dimension because I want to go get a bunch of uh, end wood. And by end wood, I mean just the wood that's in the end. I, I don't know the official name. But, if I'm correct, if I can zoom out... Yep, we have to go over to here. I want to go get a bunch of end wood and a lot of end decorations. That way, we're going to have this thing looking cool. I want it alien styled, so I'll see you guys in the end. Okay, now back in the end. I'm just going to get myself a decent amount of these kind of other world blocks. Like, whatever the heck they have here. Look at this. This is going to be so fun to build with. I love how the translucent, translucency... I'm not going to make this like a... What's the word? A walkway. I'm going to have this as like more of a very, very decorative block. For like... Hmm. The sides? The walls, maybe? I, I don't know. There's also so many of these logs that we have to watch out for. But just... Oh. So beautiful. Ooh-wee. What is this supposed to be? Ooh! Phasmium ingots. I'll take the ender pearls. We already have the music disc and a Phasmium pickaxe. Not even close. But we'll keep it for the novelty. This mod pack literally is just wallpaper material everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna farm a little bit of wood because to make the storage room... Well, we're gonna need a lot of trees, folks. Or trees, a lot of wood. Okay, first what I need to do is just make a staircase down to here. And then, I don't know what to do with that, but we'll figure that out through time lapse. Okay, folks, I have finished the pathway down, so my plans here 
to turn all of this into something like when you're on a bridge, you can look down and see some cool stuff. I want the alienness to be down here, spreading its way over to here, which will make this area the storage room, so I'll cover this entire area up in some wood, probably, because that's going to be the easiest here, and I think that's going to look good, especially since we'll have all the chests. It doesn't need to be anything too crazy. It just has to look good. Now down down here okay i'm fine with this floor being like this i kind of like the little the natural like kind of mixture of blocks here for the kind of rocky blocks i kind of like it but next what i'm gonna do is the walls i'm just gonna go straight up cherry planks And here we go. We got the storage. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at that. We've got our storage area done. Now, I could expand this in the future. I think for now, this will do us plenty. This is a lot more storage than I had previously. Now it's time to decorate this bottom really quick. It's finished. Look at this. Like a little alien world down there. We got a couple of trees down, or a few trees actually. So we have that back in the end so it blocks off that area so we don't see it when we're going around. We have this one here that I really liked. 
And then we added a little warped one, because I thought warped would have been fine. Oh, look at this. I like it. It almost makes me want to fill it with water and make it like a fish tank. But I don't know if any of these blocks would survive that. But it sure does look cool. I like it. There's stuff we can add in the future, like trying to fill this in. I'm just almost out of all blocks. As you can see here, we don't really have much else that we can work with. So we'll have to work on this part in the future. But, oh, this is the kind of enchanting area where it's like, okay, you look down. Oh, look how beautiful that is. We'll try to have it extend upward in the future as well. But I think this works gratefully for now. And folks, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, because I know I sure did. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps. Consider subscribing, because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Bye-bye.